Hello friends, this is the series of tutorials in step by step setup of Oracle 19C to Node Rack. We have already built, we have already covered three videos. In the first, I covered overview and product preparation. In the second, I installed the grid software. In the third, we created the database on the first node. So that's done. In the fourth video, I am intending to add the second node and I'm not planning for the fifth video. I'm actually trying to cover the adding the database in the same video. So I'll try to finish this tutorial with only four videos, but I'm, I'm just seeing it like how it goes. So as usual, my environment is Oracle Enterprise Linux 7.8. I am using Oracle Database 19C and I'm using Oracle VirtualBox 6.0.22. I have right now I have the cluster and the database up and running so if you show if I show you my ASM instance that's up and running on one node and if I log into another node if I go to another node the second node if I go to second node and if I run the same command you will see that I don't have anything running over there and if I show you the output of my if I show you the output of my CRS CTL stat res minus T and grab for DB1, you see I get all the entries with DB1. So everything is running on DB1. And if I do anything on DB2, literally nothing is running on DB2. Everything is running. So I have the database. I have the cluster software, I have the ASM, everything on currently on one node, which is called DB1, the first node. There is nothing on the second node called DB2. Neither the cluster is installed, neither the software. So if I sh go to that locations where I'm supposed to install the grid software. So these are the four location. If I go to grid location. So what I'll do is in reality, let me do this way. Uh, let me show you okay so clear my screen and uh, if I go to this this location here and uh, if I go to same location here which I'm already in but I'm just doing it again so I'm going to the same location PWD PWD and if I show you anything over here I have got grid and if I show you here I have nothing Similarly, the database software, if I show PWD, clear, PWD, clear, PWD. And if I show you here, I got all of this. And if I show you here, I got nothing. So literally on DB, node DB2, neither the PMON processes are running. Neither the database software is there, neither the grid software is there. And I don't have to install it manually on node 2. When I run the add node from my node 1, when I run the add node from add node from the node 1, it's going to do that. Uh, it's going to transfer the software from this particular node 1 to node 2 automatically so how do we add the node so to add the node we will be using the add node command which is present in the grid location in the add node so if i go to the grid directory so if i go to the grid directory on my twice okay that's my grid directory here you will find a directory called add node so that's a directory uh, sorry, I should have done like this ls minus l. And if you see, there is a directory called add node, that's a directory. And if I go under that add node directory under the grid software, you will find this particular shell script, this particular utility. We'll be using this utility. So what I'll do is I'll just do add node.sh and then it will launch us the GUI, which is next, 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 and then we are done. So it's a similar options that we did. And if I but but if I if I use this particular option, if I I'll just show you, then I when I'm when I'm clicking the next, 
yeah it, it is not presenting so i have to manually go and enter this information here so i have to ma mention this manually so it is presented with a blank screen the add node.sh comes with this another option where i can give the name as part of the script so automatically it will come pre-populated so first i launched it without passing any options now i'm going to pass it with the options okay the n is capital that's done and now if when it launches the the gui version it will see you will see that the new node that we are trying to add that comes pre-populated in the node in the in this particular gui which means i don't have to manually add it and i can just click if if the information is correct i can okay so it has yeah so it has taken this if you see it, previously it was and if it is not correct i can add this so what i can do is i can mention here db2 dot uh, db.com and db2vip.db.com so i can give the full name so i'm giving the full name and if i click next so it's going to do all of those checks prerequisite checks and if it all the prerequisite checks are completed successfully so it's doing all these validations and if it does everything correctly then we will be able to install our grid software so validating for duplicating duplicates testing passwordless SSH. so as as usual oracle does its checks and make sure that it wouldn't face any errors later so with this option we will know that there are if there are any errors so let me pause the video for oracle to do its work and come back when it has done its all the checks and at, again it has done all its checks and i can see a warning on website and my ntp is not working and i know i can't fix this because i don't have the internet connectivity and for some reason my chronity also doesn't work so i'm going to ignore this warnings in production do not ignore ntp warnings so make sure that you fix this in production but since this is my lab i'm going to ignore these warnings click on next the warning i'm going to ignore and finally i'm going to say submit but before submitting i'll just go back to the location where my grid software is installed and and clear my screen and do ls minus l and you see absolutely nothing and i'll click submit and let's see whether the software starts appearing on our node 2 automatically because the grid software the grid the add node is going to transfer the software and it, it, before it reaches to that particular so copy files to remote nodes so it's going to do that let's see whether it has done anything no it has not so literally nothing has been transferred as of now so let me launch the network monitor and let's see ah, okay so it has transferred see if you see ls minus l here it was zero and i could see literally appearing and if i go to resources let's see okay it's doing transfer at close to 443 500 mb per second so it's sending this data no it's not it's actually sending at 4158 mb per second so it's sending this data and already 1 gb data has been transferred so it's transferring the software onto other node and let's wait for it to transfer the entire software once it transfer the entire software then it's going to do this and finally we need to execute some root scripts uh, and till that time we don't have to monitor only when it, it reaches to this particular step we'll have to do the we'll have to again go to node 2 and run some scripts as root so i'll pause this video and come back when it's we reach to that particular stage so we have reached to a stage where it is asking us to run these two scripts on node 2 this is what we did on node 1 also so we have to run this on node 2 so let me log in to node 2 as root so right now i am on node 2 and let me run these two scripts on node 2 
so that's done and the second script and this is the same script with 19 steps but this time around it's not going to take a lot of time because the ASM configuration the voting disk configuration and all that thing so only the first time the those 19 steps which is actually most important thing where it creates the ASM instance creates the voting disk and sets up everything that is required for the grid so that that particular step is what is going to take a long time but once and only on the node one is going to take long time but on node two it's not going to take really long time and you can expect it to finish in few minutes but again it will still take few minutes so i'll pause this video and come back when it is done while it is doing these steps i thought i will show you the output of crsctl before doing this so let me switch to grid and show you the output of crs details tet res minus t grep db and let's see so everything still i get for only db so everything is still running on db1 we don't seems to have the node 2 at all added uh, into our grid cluster software so that add node.sh and once this particular part is done Probably is going to add that particular node is going to have that ASM and everything so let's give it a minute so right now everything is still on DB1 nothing is on DB2 so let's wait for this to finish and see whether the DB2 also the node second node also comes over here so give it a minute Okay, so we have reached to step 16 and probably this is the step where it starts adding the ASM instance and all of that onto node 2. So let's see, still I have not seen that appearing. So, but let's see, let me go to node 2 and let's see whether my ASM instance is at least started. And looks like my ASM instance is still not started on node 2. So let's give it a minute. And if you see my, if you see I got the DB2 entries. So if I clear the screen and do this. So I got some things running on DB1 and if I do this. Then I got some things running on DB2 as well. So you can see and if I go to node 2 and previously the ASM was not there. But if you see now the ASM instance is up and running on node 2. So we are in step 19 of 19 the final step. So if everything goes fine then probably we would have our yeah that's done. So looks now if I come back here and run this command so i got things running on node 2 as well and my asm is also running on node 2 so if i do clear the screen and do this and my asm is also running and this says succeeded so if i click ok then it's going to run some scripts the scripts post the root scripts is going to and that's done so we got our node to now or add it to the cluster so now what i'll do is i'll show you the entire output here the crsctl output and if you can see i got now two nodes the db1 and db2 but if you see my database called orcldb that is only on node 1 because what we did is we use the add node.sh via the grid so we only added the grid software so we installed the cluster and we added the second node into our cluster but till now the database is still so if i do if i connect to the database clear the screen and if i connect to the database and if i connect as sysdb and if i And if I say select name state from GB dollar database, the global view, sorry, 
select select name open mode from gv dollar database you can see in this global view i have got oracle instance only on one node i don't see two entries which means the database is still on one node so what we need to do now is we need to add the database onto the second node and how do we do that so we have to use the add node.sh once again so what if i if i show you here in the database directory i got the database home so this is and if i go to the same directory on node 2 if i go to the same directory on node 2 i can see that my database software is not there so i got the grid software installed so if i go back to grid software that's installed because i added the node into the cluster but my database software is still not added so what i need to do is i need to go to the database location under this you will find a directory called add node we have got a directory called add node so we need to go under that add node so this is the add node under the database software not the grid software so you have add node under the grid as well as add node in the database software so if i show you here clear the screen and show you the screen here you can see this add node.sh and we will pass exactly the same parameter that we passed or we can just say add node.sh and it's going to identify the newly added it is going to identify the newly okay does this let me close this so cd go to database directory go to add node and click on this particular shell utility and it's going to launch us the gui it's the same gui that we have seen while adding the cluster node but now we are not we are adding the database okay okay so i'll have to stop my video because i got an error